So, Mr. Andre, I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas tree. I'm looking forward to um, this. Made out of paper, and you first need to get your A4 paper into a square. Okay. Uh, so you need to fold in the corner okay. to the point, giving you an exact square when you open it up. Okay. Uh, and then we would cut along this line to get rid of this rectangle that's left over. Okay. Oh, I haven't got my hair done, I made earlier video. Wow, well, you don't need that. You'll have it's to guess. The, yeah, it's the excitement of finding <laughs> out what it's going to be, yeah? So, every fold we do, we're going to do it that way, and then we're going to reverse it and do it the other side as well, so we're kind of scoring it both ways so it folds okay. nice and sharp. Okay. So it bends this way and this way. Okay, the right way. Then we're going to fold it on the... Other diagonal. Okay. And again, we're scoring back that we're going to fold both ways. Yeah. Yep. Make that fold nice and sharp. Keep that fold nice and sharp. It might be more of an adult make, but a child uh, decorate kind of a. Yeah. Craft, yeah. Okay. yeah. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do like the cross folds now. Okay. So it's straight folds rather than diagonal. Those rectangles are left through. Yeah. So we'll have Eight sections. Yeah, like a Union Jack style. Nice. Cross in the centre. Union Jack action. Right. I think you've actually gone faster than yourself, which is a little bit embarrassing. Um, so when it's opened up, you'll have one, two, three, four folds. Um, and we want to focus on getting this triangle. So from here to the centre, okay. to the other corner. Um, so what we want to do is kind of have it where we can see that triangle and then we're going to fold the inside oh. in oh, on okay. both sides so that we get that triangle visible on both sides and it makes that shape at the bottom. That's it. Yeah. Uh, and then what we're going to do is fold from these kind of flaps <laughs> are going to fold into the center. Okay. Just the, front, just the top layer of them. Okay, so they fold in towards the center. Yeah, so yeah. they join that center line that's already a fold here. Nice. And then we flip it over and do the same on the other side. Okay. I'm starting to think I know what this is going to be, Miss mm -hmm. Jones. I'm starting to see a so, bit of a shape coming in. When you kind of open it up, you can see where it's going to form a Christmas tree, but you are left with these um, bits at the bottom that mean it can't stand up. So um, you can almost turn these like pages of a book, these folds. Um, so you can switch it around to see this view instead. Yep. And then you can cut along that line okay. uh, and it will give you a nice flat bottom. Which is what we all want, isn't it? All on a flat bottom. Uh, which will then stand up like a little tree. So you could leave it there, or you can make it a bit more fancy. And I'll show you how to make it more fancy, because we're year five. Okay. Um, so we're going to do, you can do as many cuts as you like up here, but when you do it, you're not going to go all the way into the centre line, otherwise it will cut it open. Okay. So you're going to do a few cuts up your um, side of your tree, like this. Right, a few cuts at the side of my tree like mm -hmm. that. And then you fold it in each one to mm. make a point of a tree. I oh, like that. And then this is, like I'd say for younger children, this is a bit the adult would do. And then obviously the children could decorate it with like stars and things yeah. or paint the tinsel on or whatever they like. So you can do that for each side of yeah. each part of the tree. Simple but pretty. Yeah, no, I like that. It's good. I like it when you get all the folds in the same direction, so yeah. they all go the right way. But... 
you would like yours more windswept, feel free to experiment. I think mine looks a bit windswept anyway. So. <laughs> It's really quite simple, isn't it? But actually, yeah, it, it looks, looks quite, quite good, hard. It? It's yeah. more simple than it looks, I think, at first. Yeah. When you first show me, yes. And backwards. Yeah. And then a few cuts. And actually, if I can do it, it's you quite know, simple. Then most people should be able to do it. I mean, I would have thought so. <laughs> <laughs> we do want to see any of your examples if you do get them done. That would be brilliant. Yeah. Send them in. Pictures of them hanging on your trees. Yeah. So they are items you can hang up, you would just need to put, use either a hole punch or kind of something sharp to pierce yeah. the paper, but you want to do it from the side where you've got a flat um, edge rather than a side where it um, can open up just to make it more strong. And that will leave you with a lovely little Christmas tree and then what we're going to do is use watercolours um, because we've been learning watercolour to paint little branches and things on oh, and then yeah. add bits on decorations. What I like about it is there aren't many resources on there, just a piece of paper. Yeah, one piece of paper only, which is yeah. quite nice. And then you can do what you like with it afterwards, can't you? Yeah. It's nice, nice, I like that. Uh, and last year we did it, we made them into a garland and put them across the front of the room classroom, oh, nice. which was quite nice. Nice work, Miss oh, yeah. James. There we go. Thanks for teaching me that. So you enjoyed it at home.